We're now joined by three-time WNBA MVP, four-time WNBL MVP, and now Naismith Hall of Famer, Lauren Jackson. Lauren, take us behind the scenes. What was it like from the moment you moved from Hall of Fame finalist to Naismith Hall of Fame inductee? How were you notified? Uh, I got a call um, from John. So that was really, it was really lovely and very welcomed. Um, I... I actually had been playing mixed basketball at the Aubrey Basketball Stadium, which was uh, pretty cool. Um, yeah, and then, yeah, I just I couldn't believe it. I was, just, you know, obviously it's something that I've wished for my whole life. And, you know, as a basketball player, I think that's probably the ultimate, you know, honour uh, is going into the Naismith Hall of Fame. So I'm over the moon. You heard it in the introduction I made a moment ago, and you're going to hear it in introductions for the rest of your life. What is it like sitting there, hearing so fresh, Naismith Hall of Famer, Lauren Jackson? Oh, it's beautiful. I mean, look, it's just such a testament to my career and I guess um, what I was able to achieve in my career. Um, looking back, you know, I feel like it's been so long since I was actually on the court and, and playing uh, for Seattle, but it's, uh, it's so special and I just feel really, I feel really honoured. Um, I, I can't really explain it. It's it's a massive uh, honor, and yeah, I'm just so happy. And and you cried when you won WNBA MVP for the first time. <laughs> this is a bigger deal. You you have been removed from the game for a couple of years in terms of you know competing at the highest level. What did this accomplishment do to kind of draw back some of those accolades you you had a decade ago? Oh, look, I was on an NBA Legends podcast probably a week ago and they asked me, you know, what it would mean to be inducted and I started tearing up and got quite emotional, which was a little bit surprising for me. And, uh, you know, when I got the call, I definitely was quite emotional. Um, I think it's just, you know, basketball has meant so much to me. I'm so passionate about the sport. My whole life it's been a part of who, you know, my identity. And, um, you know, even now I'm still heavily involved in basketball here in Australia and... I guess uh, just I just feel so honoured that and privileged to have been able to play such a beautiful sport at the level that I did, and then obviously to achieve what I did. And this this honour is a testament that not only does the game mean a lot to you, but th that feeling is mutual. You mean a lot to the game. When you look back at your career, which on court moment or memory for you stands out as the most special? Oh gosh, there were so many memories. I I think probably the I think it's more the journey. You know, there were ups and downs throughout my whole career. I think there were injuries. There were, you know, having to live away from home and not being home for you know milestone events when my grandparents passed away. That there's been a lot of things that I've missed out on because of the sport. So, I think the journey itself, um, the highs and the lows, and I guess what. Um, the the thing is, you know, I've become so much more resilient um, and I've been able to, I guess, cope with not being an athlete so much better because of the experiences that I've had. So I don't think there was just one, one experience on court or whatever. I think it was the, the entire journey. The first Australian inducted as a player into the Naismith Hall of Fame. What does that distinction mean to you? Um, that just blows my mind. I think, you know, Australia has had so many great basketball players and for me to be the first basketball player um, inducted is just, as in being a woman, uh, I, it, it's blown me away. And I think that's something that I can't really grapple with at the moment. I think that's the part that I'm definitely just blown away with. Um Australia's had such a long tradition of athletes that have gone over to America and been able to, to play great basketball over there and then also playing uh, for their nation as well. Uh, we've had a lot of great Australian players and, yeah, to be the first athlete, um, it's, you know, it's unbelievable and I, I truly can't comprehend um, the magnitude of it all at the moment. Yeah, I know it's so fresh, and I'm sorry to pile on the, these big, broad <laughs> questions, but I have another one. You mentioned another distinction, the first Australian woman inducted into the Naismith yeah. Hall of Fame. What does that mean to you? Well, again, I, it's just I, I can't really comprehend how big it is at the moment. I, I know it is because I've thought about it, and, 
you know, in the back of my mind, it was always like, well, what if I don't get in? You know, it's, it's such a huge honour. And yet, again, there's been no other athletes uh, make it from Australia prior to, to me. Um, so I, I thought that maybe that would be something that might, you know, potentially hold me back. But look, I can't believe I'm the first. It's like I said, it's a testament to my career over there in the WNBA. Um, and I just feel completely overwhelmed and, and overjoyed. And, and like I said, it really truly has been a privilege um, to be able to play basketball at that level um, and to have the ride that I've had. And, and we've mentioned it. This is a top line item on your CV from here on out. <laughs> what impact do you hope that your Hall of Fame induction has? Well, I mean, I hope it just paves the way for, you know, the next athletes that are coming through to see that they can make it to the very top. You know, they can um, make a real indelible mark on the league uh, and on women's basketball and men's basketball. I think it's, you know, there's nothing really stopping um, our WNBA or our NBA players from achieving the same things. You know, there's a lot of talent out there and there's a lot of desire to be the best. And I think that, um, you know, if a country kid from, the, you know, from New South Wales can do what I've done it's uh it means anyone can do it and I think that's pretty cool and um yeah I, like I said I just can't really understand the gravity of it all at the moment it's it's, it's crazy <laughs> and it capped a hell of a week for you between Mother's Day your birthday and now finding out you're in the Naismith Hall of Fame LJ thank you so much for joining us and congratulations again thank you very much